Okay, so this is really cool. I'm on eBay the other day, and you know the whole theory that goes, yeah, you can sell or buy pretty much anything on eBay. I figured, okay, I'm gonna put this to the test. Can I find my first cell phone? And the answer is yes. So this is the Motorola V100e, or as it was called over here in North America, the V-Box. It was my first cell phone, and apparently this thing works. So I am gonna open it up and show you guys just how Stone Age I am. After I tell you about FreshBooks. FreshBooks is the easy to use accounting solution built for how you wanna work. Stay organized and productive. Try their 30 day free trial at freshbooks.com forward slash tech tips. So I think one of the most fun things about this video is gonna be to compare and contrast my current daily driver here in 2018 with the very first cell phone that I ever owned. Uh, and I got this thing back in, well, I mean, I could probably just look at the, okay, packed in the EU, blah bitty, blah bitty. Does it have a, does it have any kind of date information on it? So hold on a second. So I was, I was 16. I had just gotten my full license. The deal was that I got a car and a cell phone. It's a pretty sweet deal as long as I was willing to drive my four siblings to and from wherever they needed to go, and as long as I was at my parents' beck and call at any time. So this was like, effectively, I was the family driver and this was like my pager. So that would have been about 2003, I wanna say? Probably around, around, around 2003, so that was 15 years ago. Holy crap, am I ever getting old. So let's talk a little bit about this thing. It has a special keypad console, which makes text messaging to your friends easier. Use WAP to access a range of information via your phone, including cinema listings, entertainment, and sport. Cool, that worked out great. Wide screen, visual display, excellent from when you are when you're playing from a choice of three games. So my mom, my stepdad and I all got the same phones and it was important for us because my mom is hard of hearing. So talking with her on the phone isn't really an option. So this was all of a sudden a reason for us to have phones and a way for us to stay in touch. So I got this super cheap plan that had like a hundred minutes, like, and no, no like unlimited weekends or evenings or anything like that. And then it was mostly, I just had like 250 text messages and so we could, we could text back and forth. So here, I wanna, I wanna show you guys what's in here. So um, this is just from an eBay seller. So I actually am not 100%, oh. Oh, okay, hold on, no, no, it's okay, so sorry. Uh, I was thinking, oh no, it doesn't come with the North American adapter, but actually they just used the North American version to adapt to the UK one. So we just, we just dodged a huge bullet here because like I could have probably found a substitute for this or like freaking I don't know, it's 4.4 oh, 4. 4 volts, one amp. What the hell is that? Do you guys like, do you guys remember non-standard mobile device chargers? What a nightmare that was. Like it's, it's so easy to take for granted stuff that we just don't have to deal with anymore. All right, so hopefully we're good then. What else we got? Um, battery storage case for your protection. Store battery in this case when not in use. Uh, well, someone clearly didn't read the label. I wonder if it even comes with a battery. I mean, this battery is long dead. Like years ago, this battery was dead. Ah, okay, you know what? I'm gonna get to this later. It was the worst thing about this phone by far, this. Okay, I was actually kind of worried that uh, this wasn't gonna be the right thing, but no, this, this is it. You know, I'm actually so sad that clear plastic casings died off. Like, does that not actually look kind of cool? Oh, yeah. Like if you could buy a modern cell phone that had a backing like that, so you could see the battery and stuff, would that not be cool? Um, 
So yeah, you can see, actually you can see the PCB for the display here. Uh, mine had a different logo. Mine had like a Motorola logo. Um, or did it have a Rogers logo? I don't know, I I'm pretty sure it just had a standard Motorola logo. Uh, in terms of IO, uh, there's an OK button here that, I, that you could use to answer calls. Uh, I don't remember what this special button over here did. Uh, this right here is the charging port, nothing on the back, just the hinge here. And then, huh, gl well, glory be, it's got a headphone jack. So as cool as it was that my phone had a headphone jack, oh boy, this is in about as good condition as I'd expect it to be. The headphone jack had a little problem. Problem number one. It wasn't a three and a half mil. It was the less standard, more fragile two and a half mil. Problem number the second. The headphone jack was actually the only way to get audio in and out of the device. Did that just blow your mind? Yeah, oh boy. So get this. The expectation, okay, for Motorola, geniuses that they are other than some pretty stupid crap they've pulled over the years. The expectation was that this goes in your pocket or clips to your belt because that was a thing back then, okay? And you put this very comfortable earpiece in your ear and you just kind of hope that that sits somewhere kind of desirable. Also, it wasn't a very good microphone. Now, there was another solution, and I did invest in this aforementioned other solution for myself, and that was that you could pull the battery cover off, and there was a module that added about this much more thickness to the phone that had a microphone in one end and uh, an earphone jack in the other end, and then a little wire that plugged into here. So you had this, like, dongle and actually it was the, it must have been the other way. It was the other way. So you had this dongle and you would hold it like this up, up against your head. And it was like literally this thick by that point. It had kind of this weird kind of wavy sort of pattern to it. Anyway, I, I wasn't able to get one of those because who the hell would have kept them? But as you guys can probably guess, having it sitting like that in your pocket all the time wore out the headphone jacks within a matter of months for every single one of us to the point where I was always like this with my pinky on the jack holding it in place while I'm trying to conduct a phone call. <sighs> Let's find out if this eBay seller is full of crap so they claim it works. Why they even had this thing? Why they thought to list it on eBay? I don't know, but it was their freaking lucky day because I paid like 70 bucks for it which is most assuredly not worth. I just, hey, 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 look at that. Charging complete, baby. Although I'm willing to bet, yeah, it turns off immediately. This battery is completely hoopty hooped. Whoa, 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 hey. No. Nice. Holy crap. It's working. So the frequency support for this phone is such that there's no way I'm getting on a network. It's like, I forget, we're, we're 800 over here and they're 850 over there, GSM, blah, 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 it doesn't matter anyway. The point is that there's no way that's gonna work over here, but what we can do is, holy crap, access internet? Yeah, network not available. I should certainly think so. I think, yeah, I think we're done here. Do you? Do you remember when phones used to have like a limited number of phone numbers you could store on them and oh, stuff? Yeah. Oh yeah. Show call timers, right, right. Because we used to be so worried about how long we were spending on the phone because we only had a limited number of minutes that like it was important to have a timer. Oh man, audible call timers. So it would beep every minute so you'd know how many minutes you were using. That is so awesome. Oh my, wow. I just had like a, like a flashback moment. That was my ringtone, like in high school, you know? Oh, ring or vibrate, at least I had vibrate. You couldn't take that for granted back then. So that was nice when I'd get texts um, in class or whatever. I used this one at one point. 
Sorry, I'm just like having fun right now. I guess I could keep making a video. Hey, oops, that's menu, crap. Hey, sup, thanks for helping, <laughs> this is a terrible keyboard. Thanks for helping me stead be call or something. I don't know, I mean, it didn't really have a lot of functions. I think the last thing to really show off for you guys has gotta be games. Oh, oh, that's right, hold on, hold on. There, so that's your quick settings. Like all your quick stuff. Vibrate on and off. Oh my God, this is so awesome. Internet, <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Last thing then, play some games. Towers of Hanoi, Baccarat, and Bricks. So I actually never really played um, Towers of Hanoi. Like, like I know I know how the game works. And then Baccarat, I didn't really understand the game at the time. Options: bet on player, bet on banker, bet on tie, and you just you put in like an amount, and then you deal, and then someone would win, and then you would get or lose points. So I didn't really like get it. Um, <laughs> yeah, we can end the game. But bricks, I played a lot. Okay. And like the other games, there wasn't really a great deal of depth to it. Like it's not like the ball starts to go faster or anything. In fact, if I recall correctly, once you clear the bricks, uh, you just bounce the ball around in an empty thing. But don't quote me on that. Let's, we're just gonna have to see how this plays out, I think. Like the funny thing is, I could say to my kids with a straight face, when I was a boy, we only had one level and we were happy to have it. And of course, like the paddle does not, like the, the, the spot on oh. the paddle that you hit doesn't affect the angle the ball comes off it at. So you just kind of have to, I gotta go do Wancho. <laughs> but instead I'm stuck here, like. Oh, oh, oh. No. <laughs> is it affected by how you're moving when it hits? Oh it is, too. Oh. There we go. Physics. So you can spin it. Okay. All right, we got this, we got this. I can do it, I can do it, wait for it. Oh shoot, that could have gotten it too. Okay. Did we get it? Yeah, we got it. Score. Yes, that's right. So you could pause when it was clear and you could like take a breather and then continue later. So that's it, you guys. That was my first phone, the Motorola V100 or V-Box, as it was called by my carrier here in Canada. Um, there were a lot, of, a lot of sacrifices. There was not a lot of sex appeal, but for better or for worse, that got me through my high school social life. <laughs> and this video is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace makes it easy to build yourself a beautiful and functional website. They have award-winning templates you can use for a wide range of projects. Every Squarespace site features their e-commerce feature so you can sell merch or services online and manage your inventory and orders. And if you ever need additional help, Squarespace offers webinars, full series of help guides, or even 24 seven support via live chat and email. So go check out Squarespace over at squarespace.com forward slash LTT to get 10% off. We're gonna have that linked below. So thanks for watching guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one and our community forum, which you should totally join. Like, look how far we've come, right? <laughs>